What's going on, YouTubers? I'm Judge Fred, and I'm here to talk about the services in the Philippines. I'm talking about the trades, such as auto mechanics, electricians, carpenters, and all that stuff. Um, I have no confidence. I've been, let me back up a little bit. I've been living here in the Philippines since 2016. And every time I have to use trades, uh, mechanics, uh, electricians, or anything like that, they somehow, they'll either trick you or do something wrong to you and overcharge you. See, the minimum wage here in the Philippines is $10 per day. So, a person here in the Philippines, normally they get paid $10 per day. When it comes to automotive uh, mechanics, they'll charge as if they live in America. They'll charge 100 bucks an hour. And to me, I think it's a ripoff. And I, I, I don't know, I'm just not happy with it. I mean, me, in, in America, I don't change my oil. I get somebody else to change my oil. And I have this sense of confidence that they will not mess up my car, purposely. Mm -hmm. Here, if I take it into a, dealer, a dealership or any shop, I'm running a risk that they'll take parts for my car and replace it with an old part um, and then they overcharge me I mean for example the oil change here for my Hilux they're charging me over $200 close to $300 for an oil change and that's a lot that's a lot we're talking US dollars here now we're not talking pesos meanwhile Everybody here is making $10 a day. But when it comes to automotive mechanic or electricians or cement guys or carpenters, all of a sudden now, they want to make as much as a, an American uh, American trade tradesman. And then, like for example, I got my, uh, my uh, what do you call this, my cell phone fixed over there. And he didn't fix it 100%. I mean, it's working half as good, but it's working now. But he still charged me $30, whether it's fixed correctly or not. I mean, our deal was, I'll pay him $30, he'll fix it, and that'll be it. No, what happened is I pay him $30 and he says, well, it's working okay, but it's not as good as you, you would think. I got no power here. So, I don't know. Since I've been living here in the Philippines since 2016, right now it's 2023. I try to do my own automotive work. And you know what? Okay. Don't buy a used car. All right? Don't buy a used car. Because, see, the, the, the Filipinos here, when they own a, a car, they get in the position where, should I change the oil, which costs about $300, or should I just buy food for my family? That's the decision making that they have. Oil change for $300, or buy food. Now, I'm not talking about all Filipinos now. I mean, there's some rich Filipinos here. But there's more impoverished Filipinos here. So, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm just telling you guys my experience. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there presenting all the good stuff. Oh, it's cheaper here in the Philippines. Yeah? What is cheap in the Philippines? I'm paying U.S. dollars, man. I go out and eat, I spend 15 bucks on myself. That's the same price 
I would pay if I was in America. So what's cheap? I tell you what is cheap. Labor. Labor such as massage, and maybe um, a maid, li living maid. That's affordable. But everything else, I'm just frustrated, man. But does that mean that I'm leaving the Philippines? No, I have a house here. I'm not like those other YouTubers presenting all the good stuff here in the Philippines, but they don't live in the Philippines. They live in America. I live here in the Philippines. I also live in America, so I know the difference. In America, I'm not below average income. I'm above average, okay? So, because if you want to test and, and um, check out my background, uh, I'm doing pretty well in, the, in, in America, okay? So, I can talk the way I talk because I have experience living in America with above average income. So, I know what's cheap over there. And I know it's cheap over here in the Philippines. I come back and forth. I, I live here in the Philippines. I live in America. I go back and forth. At a young age. I'm, I'm not 80 years old. Dude, I'm still young. But I'm fortunate to be able to come back and forth. Um, and I don't know. Today I'm just frustrated because I'm changing my goddamn oil, man. I don't mean to use a bad word, but... Changing oil... It's like I can't t trust the dealership. I don't know. Just frustrated, guys. But it doesn't mean that I don't like living here. I like living here. And then I live in America. I go back and forth. It tricks my, uh, my mental thinking. I mean, life is short enough. And you got to try at things. You got to live your life. You got to figure out or find out what makes you happy. I mean, there's a lot of people out there. I mean, the world's filled to the brim of unrealistic people, okay? You got people working. They're thinking that they're working. They, they can work till they're 85 years old. They're thinking uh, I'm gonna, they're going to be strong for the rest of their life. Come on, man. And then the world is filled with envious people. Envy. They see another person doing well. What, what do they say? Oh, you're, you're, you're this, you're that. Hypocritical. They, they don't judge themselves. They judge everybody else except themselves. Why don't they judge themselves? Why don't they talk about how messed up they are in America? Or, you know what I mean? Like, anyway, so I'm just frustrated, guys. I just wish that I can take my car to a dealership and I know they're not gonna replace my parts without me knowing and they're not gonna eye gouge me and I don't know guys I don't know I'll, hopefully I'll change before I die but anyways living here in the Philippines is not cheap it's not cheap because if it is cheap then you can have a floodgate a flood of Filipinos in America coming over here living here no, 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 no. Even a guy who's uh, that I know of, uh, you know, he's making what six thousand a month. If he if he retires here, he'll he, oh man, forget it. He's not gonna make it, man. Anyways, guys, I'm just telling you guys how frustrating it is to get your electrical fix, your cement fix, your flooring, your tiles, and you get your car fix. Oh man, just buy new. Just buy new. Buy new and hope nothing breaks down for five years. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I, I'm just going to keep you guys updated because I'm completely the opposite of other bloggers. Because I will tell you the truth about the Philippines. And also America if you ask. I like it here in the Philippines. It's just that they run the system here a little bit different than than what I am used to. But anyway, so I'm waiting for the tool to replace my my oil filter. It's freaking tight underneath that truck. And, and you know that there's a um, oil filter tool. If you if you were in America, you can go anywhere and buy them. Here in the Philippines, only dealership have those um, those cup 
that that covers your oil filter uh, so you can re remove the oil filter here in, in the Philippines only uh, dealership has those the technicians but the average normal people they don't have them and then the shops here they don't have them so I have to order two of them from Taiwan uh, using Shopee I'm waiting for them to be shipped it hasn't been shipped yet I already changed the oil and everything I just need to change the oil filter so I'm gonna change the oil here every year in the Philippines because I used to write down the mileage you know with the traffic and sometimes the car is not being used it doesn't give me the the correct uh, amount or the time to be able to change the oil so from now on every year every 12 months I just change it regardless if I use it or not all right guys that was it I was just ranting and raving just letting you know the frustration that I'm having here in the Philippines when it comes to tradesmen people doing the trade so I'm not talking about medical doctors and lawyers not yet okay I, I haven't experienced that yet so that's it guys um, hopefully you guys can shed some light or give me some leave me some comments and maybe I can respond to they just today I'm just frustrated all right guys I'm no longer the coach Fred Tagalog I am the judge Fred Tagalog